In this video, we will see voltage division rule or voltage divider rule. If you want to buy my notes, then check the link in the comment section and install the app now. Now here we can see if we want to find the voltage across this resistor R1, the voltage across resistor R1 is V1 and the voltage across R2 is V2. Now how we can find the voltage across resistor R1. So here we have to use voltage division rule or voltage divider rule. So to find V1 it is equal to this voltage that is the total supplied voltage then we have to multiply it by self resistance value that is R1 divided by again R1 which is the self resistance value then plus we have to take all the resistances which are connected with it. So here only R2 is connected so that's why R2. So again we have to find V1 the formula is V into R1 upon R1 plus R2. Now similarly if we want to find the voltage across resistor R2 which is V2. So V2 is equal to total voltage or supplied voltage into self resistance or R2 divided by total resistance that is R1 plus R2. So we have to take R2 plus R1 both are correct. So this is called as voltage divider rule or voltage division formula. Now let's check our answer. Now also remember that the addition of these two voltage V1 and V2 should be equal to the supplied voltage here it is 20. So let's verify our answer. First of all let's find the value of V1. So V1 is equal to supplied voltage which is 20. So here it is 20 into self resistance value which is 4 ohm divided by total resistance which is 4 plus 6. Now if we solve this we get 8 volt. Now similarly if we want to find voltage across resistor R2 which is V2. So V2 is equal to supplied voltage which is 20 into R2 which is the sales resistance. So 6 divided by 4 plus 6. If we solve this we get 12 volt. For V1, V1 is equal to 8 volt and V2 is equal to 12 volt. That means the voltage across resistor R1 is 8 volt and the voltage across resistor R2 is equal to 12 volt. Now remember that V1 plus V2 should be equal to V. So here if we calculate V1 plus V2 it is 8 plus 12 and it is equal to 20. So here also the supplied voltage is 20. So hence our answer is correct. Don't forget to check out the other videos on this channel and thanks for watching.